All right. So, algebra B5, multiply and divide rational numbers. So, rational numbers are fractions. Any number that can be put in a fraction, that could be a whole number, that could be a negative number, all right? It could be a decimal, okay, that repeats or terminates, or it could be a fraction. All of those are rational numbers. Now, with rational numbers, okay, with rational numbers, we can multiply straight across, meaning this. Three-fourths times one-third. I can do three times one and get three. And I can do four times three to get 12. Chucky, are you okay with that? Sure. Sure? Julie, are you okay with yep. that? Sure. All right, thanks, cool cat, Julie. So we can type in three over 12. What about this one? Grace, one eighth times four fifths. If I multiplied straight across, what would I get, Grace? Katie? Oh, come on, this is all we have to do today. What about Ava? Um, I don't know the answer to that one. Well, what if, what is one times four? Four. And what's eight times five? Forty. Forty. So it's four over 40. Now with questions like this one where I need to divide, here's the trick. When you're dividing fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal means you just flip the second fraction. Do you guys see that? How the first one is divided by negative one half and the second one, the one I wrote, is times negative two over one. So now when I do negative one times negative two, I get two and four times one is four. So I get two over four, which is one half. Joe. Joe? Yeah. How do I make a mixed number a improper fraction? What do I have to do? Um, do you remember? Two times. Two times one. Plus. Plus uh, negative one. Yeah, plus the one. So two times one is one plus the two, or uh, the one on top is three. So the first fraction is negative three over two. Now the second fraction, Joe, can you help me out with that? So you do.
would it be negative two over three? No. Well, it's three times one. Three. Plus two. Five. So it'd be negative five over three. Yeah. Make sense now? Uh-huh. Now, when we multiply across, Joe, we do negative three times negative five, that's 15. And two times three is six. Yeah. So I have 15 over six. Nate, you there, buddy? I'm here. Uh, how are you doing today? Pretty good? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Not bad. Now, Nate, do you see this problem? It says 0. 0.5 times 7.4? Yeah. OK. Now, remember those properties I taught you guys where I can multiply in any order I want? It was called the community property. Ring a bell a little bit? A little bit. All right. So instead of doing 7.4 times 0.5, I'm going to do 0 0.5 times 7.4. Do you see how I wrote it on the screen? Yep. Do you remember how to do these type of problems? I do. OK. Start me off then. What do I do? We're going to multiply 5 by 4. Okay, what is that? 20. Carry my two, right? Carry the two over there. And then you're gonna multiply five by seven, which is 35. And then you're gonna add the two. Okay, now my answer is not 370, is it? No. Okay, how do I know where to put the decimal point? Uh, I don't know. I, I know where it goes, but I don't know how, you, how you're supposed to. All right, where it does out. it go? In between the three and the seven. Okay, so you are right about that. Now, how do you know that? Well, I feel Nate just knows these things. He doesn't know why he knows them. He just does. He, he's just smart. But for a guy like me, I learned it back in the day when I went to Indian Lane. See how I have the four and the five, Nate? Do you see those two numbers? Yep. See how they're both behind the decimal point? Yeah. So I have one, two numbers behind the decimal point. So I move the decimal point one, two to there. Make sense to you, Nate? Yep. So that's where I get the answer of 3.7. All right, Ali. Yes. Ali, how do I make mixed numbers into improper fractions? Isn't it then you times you times the denominator and the whole number, and you add the whole number and the numerator? Very good. So four times one is four plus is one. Five. Can you do the other one for me? Um, two times three is five plus one, so it's six over two. Close. Two times three is six. Oh. Plus six. One is seven. Yeah, that's why I said. Oh, it's seven. Oh. No, oh, perfect. You did it really well. It's tough to do this like over a screen. Now, yeah. Allie, should we pick on Julie and make her do this problem? Yes, please. Julie. I'm unavailable. Julie, can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, all right, Julie. What's five times seven? Thirty-five. And two times four? Eight. There, you're done. Thirty-five over eight. I think you can check me, Ellie, man. All right. This isn't fair. Life is not fair. Annie. Can 
Can you hear me, Annie? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, Annie, your turn. Can you make the four and five eighths into a mix or an improper fraction? Um, is it 37 over eight? It is. So Annie did eight times four is 32 plus five is 37. So negative one times negative 37 over eight is just 37 over eight. Chucky. Yeah. All right, what's the answer here? Negative four over 20. Well, how'd you get negative four over? Hold up. No, before. Four over 20, very good. Now, Chucky, are you able to reduce four over 20? Yeah. To what? What is that reduced to? Two over 10. Which reduces to what? One fifth. Chucky, you want to see something pretty cool? Do you see this Maybe. part right here? They just crossed sure. out. Do you see that part? Yep. Guess what? They cancel. What? If you have a number on top and a number on bottom, you can cancel them. So if I canceled them, I could have gotten my answer of one fifth really quickly. Oh. Isn't that nice? So negative one fifth times negative one half is one tenth. Because a negative times a negative is a positive. So one ten. Louie. Is your mic still not working, Louie? Louie, I know your phone's working. Do you want to call my school phone? It's 610-627-6328. He says it's not working. And he's going to have to call in one day. Unreal. All right, so we have to make these numbers into improper fractions. So I do two times one, that's two plus one is three. So it's negative three over two times, all right? Two times four is eight plus one is nine. So that would be nine over two and it's negative. Now notice I can't cancel anything here because there's Nothing shared on the top and bottom. So I can do negative three times negative nine, that's 27. And two times two is four. Herman, I don't know if you want to hear this, but Louie said he got his phone taken away as well. I just saw it in his hand. Huh. All right. With division, don't forget, I have to flip that second one. So the first step is I'm gonna do eight times one. That's eight plus the one is nine. So I have nine over eight times, flip the second fraction. So that's gonna be negative two over one. Now, just like I told Chucky, I can cancel things. The two goes into eight four times. So I get negative nine over four. Again, I have a mixed number at the front. So I need to do two times five is 10 plus one is 11. So I have 11 over two times, flip my second fraction. So that's negative five over four. 11 times negative five is negative 55 over eight. 
and we're almost done. And then I'll tell you what we, or what you guys need to do. All right, Nate, you did so well at this the first time. Can you help me out with this problem? Nate? Oh boy. All right, Allie. You there? Why me? Well, you're going to do the first part, and Julie's going to do the second part. Sound fair? Okay. All right. So, Allie, you need to do the four. So, it's four times five. Four times five is 20. Carry my two. What's four times six? Um, hold on. 24 plus two is 26. All right, Allie. Way to go. Julie. Thank you. Your turn. All right. Julie, what do I have to remember to do? Decimal point? Not yet. Remember, okay. since I moved over a column, I need to put my zero there. Okay? Now, let me use a different column. All right, Julie, what's one times five? Five. What's one times six? Six. Zero plus zero, Julie. Zero. Six plus five. Eleven. One plus two plus six. Nine. Now, where does my decimal point go? Between the one and the zero. Right? Maybe, maybe not. Where? Nine and the one. Between the nine and one, because I have two decimal points, or two numbers after the decimal point. So it would be 9.10. The last problem here is three divided by negative 0.8. Now this type of problem, okay, it's gonna be tough because we don't have a fraction. I could make that a fraction. I could do three divided by negative eight over 10, and I could do it three times negative 10 over eight. I could do it this way. And I would get negative 30 over eight. But since it starts as a decimal, I'm gonna work with the decimal. And here's what we do. In order to divide these, I'm going to move the decimal point one place over. Decimal points here, so I'm going to move one place over. So I'm really going to do the problem. Eight goes into 30, how many times? Eight goes into 30 three times, it's 24. 30 minus 24 is six. Bring down the zero. Now, how many times does eight go into 60? Seven times. That's gonna be 56. 60 minus 56 is four. Bring down the next zero. So eight goes into 45 times because eight times five is 40. So my answer is 3.75. Ah, uh, sorry, negative. Any questions here?